King James is coming home. LeBron James is back in Ohio just with the GOP convention. And I am not one to gloat except over the whole country. I am not going to gloat over Miami because I know what it's like to lose LeBron James. So even though my guest sitting across from me, Senator Marco Rubio, is a Heat fan, I'm actually going to offer you my condolences because this has happened to us before. Now, listen, first of all, um, I uh, read the uh, article that he wrote, the essay that he wrote in Sports Illustrated. It's it's actually very compelling, and I have a lot of respect. The way I view it is he gave us four extraordinary years in Miami, a very special experience. Um, I'm grateful for it. On a personal level, i got to tell you, I mean, he allowed me, along with his teammates, to share with my son's memories they'll treasure for the rest of their life. We had him, we rented him for four years. Yeah. And he gave us four straight finals and two championships. And, and now on a personal level, he has a challenge. He, he, he's, he grew into a man in Miami, and that's the part about LeBron that I don't think has been covered enough. He, he came to the NBA as an 18-year-old boy, came to Miami and really became a man, became a husband, became a father he's expecting a third child was a great member of the community really grew in multiple different ways as a businessman as a member of the community and certainly as a basketball player won us two championships took us to four finals and now he wants to go home to a community that he desperately wants to bring back a championship to after years of not having it i respect that a lot and uh, that's i think that's it's a very compelling story and i think in hindsight probably the right decision